section of the Garden of Eden story has two pages, so uh, we get a follow up here. Vayomer Adonai Elohim El Hanachash, and the Lord God said unto the snake, Ki asita zot arur ata me kol habahema ume kol chayat hasade. Because you did this, cursed are you from all of the beasts and from all of the wild animals. Uh, notice the use of behema and chayat. Behema is domesticated animals. Chayat is wild animals. So here is the behema, and the fox here is representing the chayat of uh, the field. Or the sade doesn't just have to be field. It can be a, like an open space. Um, so the snake gets cursed here. Vazera haisha yashuf otzcha rosh, and the seed of the woman, um, which is the subject. So the seed of the woman will bruise your head. Um, yashuf can mean bruise or crush. You know, oftentimes, it's translated as crush here. Um, it just kind of depends on context, what's being bruised, and we just assume that when someone steps on a snake's head, it gets crushed. So that's why it's being translated as crush here. Um, shuf oto a cave, and you will bruise its heel. So it is referring to the seed of the woman, but notice that tashuf is uh, the same root as yashuf. Um, but it's almost always translated as bruised um, because the snake's not going to crush the heel. So it's kind of, this is a tricky word. Same word in Hebrew, but in English we have to translate it. We probably have to translate it with two different English words. El ha isha mar unto the woman, he said, ba'it save tail di vanim. And. Um, the pain of childbearing, um, of bearing sons, sorry, the, the pain of giving birth to sons. Sorry, let me retranslate that. In pain, sorry, the bait there is in pain, you will bear sons. Ve'el ishek tashu katek bohu yim shol bak. And unto your husband will be your desire, and he will rule over you. Um, so that's the, the remaining three panels of the second section of the garden story. On to the third section now.